so I've had a lot of people ask me what do I feel about uh, you know the economy and what is going on you know I'm going to just show you this is what I do on a daily basis normally our yard has trailers all the way from our wash bay all the way out to about here all of these slots would be full and there would only be enough room for one truck to come through the driveway that I'm sitting in right now waiting on a trailer okay I'm waiting on the driver to come in with a trailer all right this this is not good folks this right here it this is eyes on the ground this is me telling you I run the ports every day yes this is the time of year where we slow down, but this is an increase in slowing down that I, honestly, I've seen it a little bit worse than this, uh, but not in the middle of July, okay? I've seen it worse than this in like February, okay? Um, because people are not really buying stuff then and you know you have no holidays or anything but this right here in the middle of July no we do not see this in the middle of July okay we do not see empty slots for trailers all over the yard in the middle of July that just that just does not happen folks okay uh, we just don't sit waiting on trailers on a daily basis. I get paid by the hour. Do you think the boss wants me to sit here and not move, not move freight? No, that would be stupid. Okay. Uh, so, just to let you know, this is our reload warehouse. Normally, we have four or five trucks waiting to back to that warehouse do you see any trucks do you see any trucks do you see any this is what this is I'm telling you right now if you don't take this as a warning that things are going to get worse it's in your face showing you right now. You need to take this as a warning, folks. Okay? I drive a big rig. Do you see? I'm in a big rig. I'm telling you, things are bad. They are bad. The cost of fuel is up. The cost of DEF is up. We can't find it in some states. We're having issues. Uh, even getting aluminum cans to some of our customers so that they can can food. Alright? It, it's an issue. It's an issue, folks. Um, and this is just not me talking. This is the entire trucking industry screaming at you that we are having issues. Pay attention, folks. Get what you need to get. This is not, oh, it'll be better in a month. This will take a decade to fix. Okay? This will take a decade to fix. It takes time to build warehouses to start manufacturing here. Okay? Just telling you, just from my heart to you, this is not good. Now you see him, he's backing up because his trailer's not here either. Okay? So, come on folks, come on, pay attention, pay attention. To what's going on you go to the grocery store I know you go to the grocery store I know you see that there's empty shelves I know you see that 
please pay attention to what is staring you in the face. Okay? Please pay attention to that. I don't want to see any child in this nation go hungry because their parents had no warning about what was coming. It's here, folks. It's here. Alright? Pay attention to what is in front of your face. Pay attention to what people are trying to tell you. I'm not telling you to go out and buy $500 worth of food. I'm telling you that if you don't start buying a little bit of extra now, come this winter, it's not going to be on the shelf. Point blank. It won't be there. I don't know how how clearer I can be. Please, 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 please get what your family needs now. Get it now. Bicycle.